we are live, I think. Yes, we are live. We're, live. We're telling everyone how we did it. We the back part of our hair. Oh, yeah. no, now everyone knows. In the front, party in the back. I know, I've got this bit that I just keep seeing, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, it's fine. I had, I had an undercut at the beginning of this year, so I've got, like, my little mullet going on now, because it's growing out, and I'm just, I'm not going to upkeep it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome. <laughs> so this is the first time that UK PhonyCon's ever hosted a voice actor Q&A. That's ever. awesome. <laughs> we've um, we've never had guests before, really. So it's, oh so you are our first ever Yes. Yay. Um, everyone's saying yaks best at con, best yak, <laughs> and best small bug. Yeah. Um, do you want to introduce yourselves? Oh. Sure. Who goes first? I'm Devin, Devin Dalton. I'm here in Vancouver, BC, Canada right now. I'm super happy to be a part of this. I've been excited. I've been waiting for UK Pony Con. Uh, obviously, I am the voice of Ocellus. I've got my little mug here. But yeah, I'm so excited to do this, like UK PonyCon, woo! Uh, I was I was super excited when you guys asked me to be a part of it, and I thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, and I'm stoked to be here with Yona, Katrina. Uh, it's nice to have some of the young six reuniting. <laughs> Hello, I'm Katrina. I play, be right back one second. <laughs> Very Yona. Very Yona. I play this. Yay! Oh. <laughs> the oh, ultimate. My Yona blanket. I was talking about how I was cold. Um, yeah, I'm Katrina Salisbury. Hi, guys. I play Yona, Yona the Yak on My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. You probably knew that if you didn't. Hey. Um, I am also... <laughs> So stoked to be here with you guys. Um, this is, I think, both of our first um, outside of North America con, even though technically we're still in North America. But, you know, I'm going to pretend that I'm in the UK and the rest of Europe with you guys right now, because that could be fun. Um, and I'm also stoked to be here on the 10th anniversary of My Little Pony. That's today. I was like on Twitter this morning. Seeing everybody Amazing. post about it and how much it's changed their lives um, for the better has, I mean, on, we've only been part of it for a few years, but it's it's pretty surreal that it's been 10 years that it's been out and so exciting. So, yeah. That's amazing. That's <laughs> we're super really, amazing. We're really excited to have you as well. Um, it's it's definitely a pony con first so i'm gonna apologize if i'm not very good at moderating the questions and q a yeah. um i always go off track so <laughs> <laughs> oh don't worry so if you are watching you will see that the oh i don't know if you know we've we've got two streams running and one is known one is the yona stream and one is the acela stream this time round. Awesome. um so we're currently on the uh, yona stage and so write your questions in the yona stage questions um yeah um so we have a so are you okay to go straight into q a's yeah 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 wow. so if this is from sky arrow if you could write an episode what would your dream episode be oh Ooh. That's, a, that's a good question i kind of got my dream episode with she's all yak um, I, I actually really wanted that to happen for Yona because I'm like, you know, she's this really strong, cute, confident character. But, you know, teenagers and teenage girls, especially when you're when you're growing up, you can start to kind of question yourself and like, am I do I fit in? Am I is there a better way I could fit in? Maybe maybe they don't like me for certain things. So you start to question yourself. So I thought that that might happen with Yona. And when I got that episode, when I first read it, I was just like, oh my God, I've been wanting to do this. It it turned out in such a good way. I, I loved the positive message of it. So that was my that was my dream episode. So I'm super lucky that I got to have it um, and sing a little yak song. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. 
episode. Yeah, that was great. Otherwise, I'd love one like Halloween episode where Yona becomes a villain, which we did read somewhere at a at a convention. It was like a a, a fan um, had written a script and it was so good. So I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, for me, ooh, I think it would be so fun if there was like, like an adventure where maybe like the young six, like they get to go on this like big field trip. And I think it would be awesome if Ocellus kind of like got to, you know, use her changeling powers, of course, and be kind of a superhero and like save the day. And, and maybe, you know, at the end have like a little speech because I know for like for Ocellus, it's so tricky to, uh, you know, I get so shy, but it would be awesome. I want to be like, I want to be a superhero, basically. I want like an Ocellus superhero episode. And it could be so fun if the young six like took some adventure. Maybe they go to the UK. How cool would that be? Um, and they get to like explore and be like somewhere else. I think that would be so cute. Um, and there would be so much like fun stuff that could happen. Like the stories could be endless then. Um, but a lot of changeling things would happen. And I think I could like, transform to many things that would be so much fun because <laughs> after all that's like the most fun with Ocellus I love so much that she can change and come back and it's so cool I want that superpower so <laughs> that's the that's the coolest superpower I think. yeah <laughs> definitely oh wow well I'm glad to take over the UK that's <laughs> <laughs> that would be I would definitely tune in for that <laughs> Um, so next question is from Moon Does Twinkle. What has been your favorite episode to do? Oh, I think I answered that, I guess. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, yeah, probably she's, well, yeah, that was a fun episode. Um, I, I liked um, Uprooted, too, the one with the, the tree. I think it was episode yeah. 903 when we all, you know, we're trying to, trying to, fix the tree in the best way and we all had our own ideas and then when we realized when we worked together that it was you know that was the best way to actually do it it's really my favorite yeah that was a fun episode um I loved that one as well I also loved um the Christmas episode <laughs> um just because it was really cute to see each person kind of you know, a little bit of backstory. And it was so funny for Ocellus because it was just such an Ocellus thing to do to just be like listing it off like a, you know, a school report. And then we, we sing carols, 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 carols. <laughs> so that one was fun. I think it was just really like showcased Ocellus's personality. Um, I also enjoyed doing the one where we made Ocellus kind of have to break out of her shell and be a little bit of a cheerleader. Um, cause it was just like such a stretch for her. And I had a lot of fun recording that one too. Um, I remember that day. So I, I, I like, those are my two favorite. Um, I can't choose one, but yeah, it overall it's, uh, sometimes it's hard to choose because we get to record as an ensemble. So recording the episodes is such a fun experience as well. And then you see the final product. Um, but yeah, I liked those two for sure. Yeah, my favourite is the cheerleader episode. I just, I, I don't, I just love it. Like, it's just how people change, but then Yona's in her element, like, <laughs> being loud. Um, next question is from <laughs> Pwn Soph to Katrina. What is Yak not best at? <laughs> being humble. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, uh... <laughs> Yeah, yak not best at swimming. We did learn that. Um, or whistling. I can't whistle. So when we were doing that episode, I was honestly trying my best. So that little like, I can't do it now. <laughs> that little <laughs> whisper that comes out is uh, is my best attempt and Yona's best attempt. So yak not best at whistling. <laughs> um. The other one from Twilight Sparkle Girl is how do you get into character? I just break some stuff before I go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do that on a daily basis anyway, accidentally. I just trip over everything. Um, for me, you know, I would, I, I like to kind of 
put some physicality into it. And Yona's a bit bigger and stockier. So I usually have like a pretty wide stance and um, loosen up my shoulders a bit when I'm recording her. I find that helps a lot when you kind of just change your body a little bit to form each character and help how they move. So I like doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that for me too or just Yona? Yeah, for you as well. Yeah, no, definitely. I think like, just like when you get there to kind of set into your character, I always kind of remember the lines that I auditioned with just because they remind me of her so much and how like she was really, really shy in the beginning. And like, I just kind of, I sometimes I'll say a couple of the lines from the first, from the first audition as well, just to get me back into the voice and everything. And then once you've done it, you know, after a few episodes, it kind of just becomes like a little switch that you can just kind of turn on, turn on and off. Um, but I think, uh, you know, like she means so, Osella means so much to me that I, she's like a part of me now. So it's easy for me to just like go to a, be a Celis, you know, it, I don't have to live in us. They like just, yeah. 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 So once you kind of found it and you've created that, it, it definitely is. Yeah. It's just like a piece of your, you know, another part of your personality that you can kind of go to. Um, so it kind of just becomes, it becomes natural and second nature, which is awesome. Um, but definitely, yeah. And the same, I like to move a little bit. Like sometimes when I say her lines, you know, I'm not like this, when I say them, I kind of, you know, embody like maybe how I think she would be moving and that helps me too. Yeah. So this kind of leads on a little bit. So this is from Shy Fire. So what was each of your process to decide what voice to do for each of your characters? That's a, that's a good question. So I, um, when I got the audition for it, I had the audition for uh, Yona Acellus and Smolder. Um, and I was like, okay, got to pick different voices for each of these people. But Yona, I was like, oh, I can totally see who she is. She's kind of like maybe a little bit brutish, a little bit, um, you know, harsh. And I knew that the yaks had shown up in My Little Pony before, but I didn't know what they sounded like. So I went back to season five and watched a few episodes and saw that they were like really raspy and deep and kind of growly. So then I changed my voice to represent that, but more as like a 13, 14 year old girl. Um, and I just, you know, changed up the way their, their cadence of speaking was a little bit different. So I tried to follow that path. Um, and, you know, maybe got a little bit of inspiration from the Hulk too. Got to feel that <laughs> there. Um, but that's how I did it. I just, I watched a few episodes. It's like, okay, what blueprints have been laid out for these characters? Um, for the Yaks, it seemed to be quite clear. Um, and I just, I followed that. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, I almost blanked there for a second. I was like, wait, what's the question? <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of too, like, it's funny because you get a lot of auditions all the time as actors and, and there's always roles that you just like suddenly kind of click with. And then ones you kind of have to dig a little bit more to find that character. And same thing, I got like the, the young six and you got, you know, got to choose a couple that you wanted to go in and audition with. And the first one I knew right away was Ocellus. I just, yeah, the same thing. I just felt like I kind of identified with her a little bit. And I felt like, you know, it's funny. She's kind of like the smaller one of the bunch too. Like naturally it just happened. And I always tell people that because the one line too she had was like, pillows, how nice. And I'm like... <laughs> weirdly like I just love pillows like my bed has like a bunch like over excessive pillows and like <laughs> I like to like when I, I like barricade myself in pillows so I knew that we just like you know we understood each other <laughs> no but so I chose Ocellus and I kind of just naturally like imagined a voice with her um I don't even really know it's like sometimes it just comes to you and you just kind of organically like you just create something and it felt really natural. So I went with it. And then I think I also read for Smolder when I was in there. Um, 
yeah, I think that was the two that I had chosen to go in an audition with. And Smolder was fun as well. I liked that she was like edgy and sassy, but I definitely, when I found out I was cast as Ocellus, I was like, oh yeah, because that one just made sense for me. And it's like, sometimes you, yeah, you get auditions and you just know when a role is, you're like, oh, this one, like, no, I'm really like, this is for me. Um, and that's just how it felt. So it worked out wonderfully. And I couldn't imagine now when I see the young six and like the actors that have been cast, like they're so them, you yeah. know, like I couldn't like Shannon any perfect, perfect smolder, like totally, <laughs> you know, and like, and Gavin is such a gallus and like, you're yeah. such a Yoda and, and <laughs> Lauren is totally a silver it's stream. Silver like, stream yeah. It's their bits like so well that I think they cast it just like right on Her, the money for like, yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, fab. So this is from Misty S Strings. Is who's your favorite main six character? Oh, uh, this is so tricky. We love all our teachers. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, my favorite is Pinkie Pie. Yeah. I love Pinkie Pie. Um, she's just so high energy and so like, you know, optimistic like having fun I love when she just like pulls out cannons I'm like this girl's crazy I love it she's just you know always ready to have a party um and she's best friends with the yaks so I I really love Pinkie Pie and I just love like Andrea's energy that she brings to Pinkie Pie and I mean she's a great Fluttershy too but I just I love that kind of like wag crazy like yeah bam 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 well, let's go um so Pinkie Pie is probably my favorite I also love pink so. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Pinkie Pie is so cute she just mm -hmm. yeah I love the energy that she has for sure um I think I also I love Applejack I just think she's so like kind of you know like kind of calm cool and collected and I just love the southern accent you know their country accent like I just I think Ashley too does such an awesome job I just always enjoy watching Applejack's bits and uh, yeah so I think Applejack is is my favorite <laughs> like could you imagine Yona and Pinkie Pie having a party like yeah. that would be absolutely <laughs> incredible it would be it would be pretty <laughs> extraordinary um don't it bring anything breakable to this party <laughs> but yeah, yeah it, it would be a good time it would be loud and fun Post-COVID, of course, so no, no <laughs> parties before. <laughs> I feel um, like you guys in karaoke for some reason. Oh, 100%. I feel like Yoda and Pinkie Pie, it would be a karaoke party. <laughs> 100% karaoke party. You're, so, you're right. You're right. <laughs> and with a bit of dance mat as well going on. Oh, Maybe both we even at the same time. Oh, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> we try. We try. Would we succeed? Questionable. <laughs> <laughs> so from Surprise Pie is, if you could choose any other Friendship Foods Magic character to voice, who would you choose? Ooh. Like of any of the characters? Any wow. of the characters. Any of the characters. That is so tricky because there's so much fun. Um, Cozy Glow would kind of be fun oh, and I say that because it's like she's such an ad like it's so funny because it's like she's so adorable but so evil <laughs> and so I love Sunny's like take on it and I think it would be such an opposite of what Ocellus is that it would just be fun to kind of try out um just being on that side, being being the villain. I've also, you know, I've never played a character that's kind of on the villainous side. So I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun. And I love that she's a villain, but she's also just like so adorable that you're so just cute like, and unassuming. And even her voice. I love like how it like her voice is the cutest thing in the whole world. And yeah. the thing she's saying with it is like, oh she's <laughs> evil. She's she's bad. Um that's yeah, Cozy Glow would be so fun to voice. Yeah. Uh, another character that I would probably want to voice, but they have the perfect actor who does it. Um, Discord seems pretty fun, too. Just, you yeah. know, like, always always having a fun time, being mischievous, you know. Like, not a bad person, but, like, you know, does what they want, has fun, owns it, yeah. loves it. 
likes to kind of play with people. I think that would be really fun too. But John Delancey does a great job as Discord. Yeah. I mean, I, I, when I've seen like people, this question be asked to voice that before, they always go for the opposite of what they've got. <laughs> like everyone good turns evil and everyone evil turns good. So it just... <laughs> Isn't that funny? Just, yeah. You know, you want what you can't have or don't have. Yeah, no. always right. <laughs> Everyone wants the opposite. <laughs> no, I would never change. I would always want to be Ocellus, but that would be fun yeah. just for like, you know, maybe in an episode, Ocellus changes into Cozy Glow yeah. and then that could be Cozy Glow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so from Lord of Time, how much of yourselves do you put into the characters? Do you play them exactly as written slash directed or add your own flair? Um, a bit of both, a bit of both. Definitely, uh, you know, Nicole and the other creators who write it and stuff do such a good job that, like, we, you know, we keep the dialogue and it's just so fitted to the characters that I can't see myself. I've never had a moment where I've been like, hmm wish I could rewrite this line, you know, everything just flows so nicely and it's so good. So yeah, no, I definitely play it how it's written. And, um, but naturally as the actor, you've created that character. So you just, yeah, I do my own kind of, you know, what I think Ocellus would do um, without kind of questioning it. And I think that brings something to it, but it's definitely a collaboration with, with, the director and producer writer plus we also are in there as an ensemble so you kind of vibe off each other so we influence each other a bit too with like the energy of maybe that episode or that moment um so it's def it's a it's a full collaboration to bring these characters to life um because we get to like you know actually bring them to life but we also couldn't have done that if someone wouldn't have like come up with this idea and wrote them so that's that's kind of the fun part is like piecing it all together and then you see the final product and it's just so wonderful because everyone's put in this awesome energy towards it. And, and I think everyone really in, in this show, why I think why My Little Pony is so successful too is everyone um, is just on the same page. Like we all kind of understand what, what we're doing. We have the same goal. And so it just kind of, it's such a family like everyone just gets along so well and it I think that makes a big difference too yeah. so yeah we collab but definitely I add my own spice to Ocellus for sure um yeah yeah I, I think Devin answered that perfectly like that that's exactly right the writers everybody is just made so perfectly and it's it's hard to you know not see it and go oh I know exactly what they're going for you know you don't for for each of us with our characters we just are like I can see it and you know yeah we add our little like maybe like pre-lifes to our line or something like that so you know if Acellus has a line about homework she's probably going to be super excited about it and like Devin's gonna be super excited about it I might be like eh, okay yeah you know so we, we <laughs> add we know we know our characters and the creators did such a good job showing us our characters that it's like okay yeah, let's just add our little flair to it. But really, they're already there. And it's so nice to see, like, when the creators like what you do, and they're, they're loving their vision come to life with what you're doing. That's such an awesome feeling just being like, all right, we've all, we've all done our part, and it's working out and it's going good. Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork makes a dream work. In film? Yeah. I mean, everything, but especially. In film. Yeah, yeah. So this next question is from Tuba Chick. Sorry, I can't say the word tuba. But what were your favorite lines to say as your character? Yak smash. Yak smash. <laughs> uh, that was probably like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, definitely. <laughs> I always feel like it's like a deja vu. She's repeating it again. But I just love that 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 opening line where she's like talking about pillows. Um, <laughs> and also, um, I, love <laughs> I know I love that too. I love so much that she's just like Carol, Carol, Carol. <laughs> it's like that's so cute. You know, yeah. she just thinks of it like, literally like, oh, let's Carol. sing. Okay. Carol, Carol, Carol. <laughs> yeah, I love that one too. 
I love it so much. And then of course the pillows line, I just love, cause that was what sold me. That was like, that was when we, we met and we fell in love. <laughs> pillows. And we were both like, <laughs> we're going to be friends forever for sure. <laughs> Another one of mine was with when Yona, Yona liked Brussels sprouts and I had to pretend yeah. to eat food. And I actually do love Brussels sprouts. Like I love Brussels sprouts. So <laughs> when it's like, Yona like Brussels sprouts, I'm like, yeah, we do. We love Brussels sprouts. I don't care what anybody else says. <laughs> I like Brussels sprouts as well. Agreed. They're what good. else did I like? Yeah. yeah. What else did I like? Oh, and I'll always love the cheer one again, just where she's like, you know that was so much fun to record and it just felt so zealous like I could feel her fear I was like oh gosh and this is from hypno who's is did you get the opportunity to develop your voice as the show progressed or did you have to stick to what was agreed in advance oh, good question um I feel like voices kind of always evolve from when you first get it, like not not too much, but they they do grow over time. And for me, like when I first started, Yona was very, we call one note, like she was just kind of just growly and everything was kind of the same. And so the directors helped me, you know, build her more and not just be like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. like I got to, you know, have bigger emotions. I, I could focus on being, not only growly with the voice, but, you know, maybe go higher in pitch or change it up to kind of copy rarity. Um, so I feel like my voice, it, it, that is what I auditioned with, but at the same time, it did grow quite a lot throughout the series. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I think as well, like when you first start and you get cast, you've only had a chance to do a little bit in the, the character's voice. So as you go, definitely I felt her evolving. And as Ocellus came out of her shell, I felt, you know, she was finding more of her voice um, and in turn me finding more of my voice. Um, so I think definitely it evolved along the way. It still kept that initial like tone and kind of, um, first character traits, but definitely like, because we see the characters kind of change and grow as well. Mm -hmm. So with that, they're kind of the way they speak or do things changes too. So it's kind of fun because you go on the journey like naturally with them. And definitely my voice had different moments and different episodes where she kind of found her voice more and then when she was shy. So yeah, I think it, it all evolves kind of naturally with, with the script and the character and, um, and there's things too, it's new for us because it's still a new character. So at first, you know, you're still playing around and seeing what you like for her. And yeah, it's really fun. It's a fun process. So the next one is favorite species in My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course I love changelings, but um, I think it's so cool. Like having all that, I think it was so much fun I really like that they made a choice with the young six to kind of break it up. I love ponies. Don't get me wrong. Ponies rock. Um, but I think it was really fun to have all these different kind of creatures come in. And yeah, I think like, I think I have to say like, cause I obviously changelings are number one, but I think also I really love the yaks. I love the yaks. <laughs> They're just so awesome and they have such a presence and it's like such a, a unique character. It definitely like, I love the yaks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yaks best. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I, I love the yaks too. Like, I feel like yeah. we're very, we love our characters because we've, we've, you know, we've dived into them. We've been around them so long. How can you not love your own characters? So being biased, I love the yaks. But agreed, agreed with Dan. I love how they have all these different kinds of characters. The changelings are so cool that they can just shape shift. Like that's the coolest thing ever. Um, I really like, I believe they're called the Kirin. Is that? Yeah. yeah. Kirin. Like kind of like pony dragon. Like I don't, they just look so like from like a fantasy series that I, I just love the look of them. I'm like, that's cool. I'd want to be one of those. Like Katrina would probably be one of those. And they're just so fluffy. 
Yeah. The little mane. Yeah. So that's, that's I, I like their look. So next question is, how familiar with, were you with the show and the fan following before you got the roles of Yona and Acellus? Quite familiar. <laughs> um, I always knew about the show. Like I've known about the show since I was young. Um, like everyone knows what My Little Pony is. And it's so funny because they really do. Like anyone I talk to and I tell them, oh, you know, My Little Pony, of all ages and all backgrounds, everyone seems to know what it is. And I think that's so cool. So I was, I definitely was very aware of the show. I knew, you know, that there was movies and a show and toys and, and all that, but I didn't know about the following. And I didn't know that, you know, that it reached people all around the world. And I didn't know, you know, that there, like, I had, I had watched some of it, but I had not seen to the extent kind of like all the beautiful messages and everything that it kind of talks about. And then once I did see it, I understood the following. But yeah, it was a pleasant surprise. I have to say it was a really, really pleasant surprise to find out like that the show had so much more to it than I had even imagined. And then I just felt super honored to be a part of it. Um, and then I got on board and I'm like, now I am a hardcore My Little Pony fan. And, <laughs> and I do, I've seen like, you know, how it, it really is so much more than just like a, sh uh, just a show passing by, you think, oh, it's just a little show. And then like, when you start to really look at it and, and then when you meet everyone who's involved and you meet all the fans and like, cause that's the thing too, like we couldn't do any of this without you guys. And it feels like it's such an honor to come to these things and get to talk to you a bit and, and then, yeah, we all kind of feel like a family. We've got like a secret, you know, My Little Pony code uh, that we all just like, we, we get it. We get each other. Um, so, yeah, it was a pleasant surprise. I was so stoked. I was like, wow, this just it keeps getting better with this show. <laughs> Gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> I'd remember probably about 10 years ago, which makes sense. Um, I remember seeing it for the first time because my friend's brother had been a fan and he was watching it. Um, so I remember seeing it and being like, oh, this is cool. I got a cool new show. And I'd, you know, kept up with it a little bit. I'd, I've seen episodes now and then. I wasn't like a hardcore fan or like watched it uh, religiously, but I, I'd seen a few episodes and it was when I was in acting school. Um, you know, seven years ago I don't know a few years I was watching I was in another my best friend's basement we were just flipping through Netflix and we we're like you know what let's just like for fun watch Equestria Girls like why not let's just do it and I had known that I I'd wanted to be an actor I was in school I really loved voiceover and we were you know talking they were like one day you're gonna be in this one day we're gonna be seeing you on the screen and I'm like haha guys totally yeah you're right not you know you, you never believe that that's actually going to happen you hope but you never think it's going to happen so then when I got the audition for it and I got the email that I booked it I was like oh my god it actually happened um so I was floored I knew about the fandom I'd been watching the show so it, it honestly was the most surreal feeling to have been like I'm I'm on the show now and then yeah. you know yeah. The, we were we only thought we were going to do a for like a couple episodes at first which was still really cool I was like oh my god I'm gonna get to do like two or three episodes of the show amazing yeah. and then they just you know kept bringing us back and bringing us back and then growing us even more so it, it really was just the gift that keeps on giving it was it was so 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 fun and yeah, um, yeah coming to like conventions like this like I'm sad that we're not on a stage right now and getting to see everyone's beautiful face. Um, but still just, you know, knowing that you guys are there and that we're here for you and that, you know, we're all here for each other is super, super cool. And yeah, helps, helps this year be a little bit better. You know, <laughs> it does. The cons have been so nice to have. Um, it's just so great that, you know, this is when I am thankful for like technology because it's yeah. so awesome. And thank you guys for like, you know, putting it on and, and setting it up because it's equally like as exciting for us yeah. to do these things as for, I hope you guys to attend and at least like, you know, we can connect from afar and it's certainly better than nothing in a year that's been pretty, 
you know, that has been very oh, distant. Yes. It's yeah. nice to leave this way. So, yeah. 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 Like, I don't know if you knew, but this weekend was actually going to be the weekend of our convention. Um, but we had to postpone it until May, May. Um, so a lot of a lot of people in the chat are feeling it today because we're all like, oh, we want to be like able to hug each other and be like, hi. Totally. Come in. It's just postponed. It's yeah. Gonna happen. It's yeah. Just postponed. Exactly. And then when it happens in person, it'll be like so much sweeter, even, even more. Oh sweeter. gosh. Definitely, yeah. and yeah. just so full of tears. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. So I see everyone like. Oh, oh, running towards <laughs> each other. Oh, definitely. I'm just going to say, you know? there's a line from <laughs> The Witcher, and I'm just going to say it to everybody. I'm like, I haven't seen you since the plague. I'm just going to say that to every single person. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's actually really good. Yeah. I did not You're write it. Accurate. <laughs> so, if a Celis and Yona were to get pets, what kind would they want and why? Ooh. maybe Ocellus would have like tamed one of those little puck wudgies. Yeah. Either, you know, in the first yeah. episode, the, well, it was the first episode part two. So episode two, 802. Um, and she kind of helps everyone because like the little puck wudgies are there and she's like, wah, 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 and talking to them. I think it would be super cute. I, Cause they're, they are cute, even though they're a little bit um, evil, <laughs> but I think that <laughs> she would like, you know, she would be able to tame one. It'd be like, you know, bringing in the wild Pukwudgie and they would, I think it would be so cute. Plus, you know, Ocellus is teeny. So I feel like I need kind of a teeny little buddy to come with me. Um, I think that would be super fun. <laughs> a Pukwudgie. The Pukwudgie is such a good answer. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what Yona would like as a little mm. pet I'm just thinking I don't know why I have this stuck in my head a feral cat like, <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah, like so wild. Yeah. yeah but but it's they so understand wild. each other and they get along and then you know like e the cat wants to do something and Yona's like no nope! and then the cat just is like Aah! and they just you know get it. And, and they <laughs> come to an agreement eventually That's and hilarious. they're both kind of like really fluffy and just hair everywhere and kind of you know not not super pristine um I just feel like they would get along so well and maybe it like you know sits on her sleeps on her back with a little blanket I could imagine that and she like that walks around so cute. I yeah. see it and it would just be, like on her shoulder and yeah. they just like that yeah. would be cute. they should totally do an episode with us and our pets how much yeah. that would be such a good episode Pakwaji and feral cat <laughs> <laughs> That was such a good episode. <gasps> yeah. Who's your favorite princess? Like, of any princesses? Of, in the in Friendship is Magic. Okay. I was going to say Megara, but that's not Friendship is Magic. <laughs> You're like, a uh, favorite princess. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like Luna. I like, I, like, she just looks cool. She looks so cool like um like the star blacky purple I love her look and it was episode 200 when she's when she was like the mastermind behind the plan and she's just sitting in that chair I don't remember what they were called but do you remember those bird things I I I laughed my butt off when I saw those I was like what are those things um they were ridiculous and I just loved that she was like sitting in this throne room with a bunch of these things, holy one. I thought that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Um, and the animation on that was amazing. And just Luna, like, being up in that throne in that room, I'm like, that's who I want to be. I want to be her. I want to be in a room with those things. I command them. I'm <laughs> holding them. So I like Luna. <laughs> yeah, that's answer. I like Luna as well. Um, I also like Princess Celestia. I think she's like super beautiful. I love her, like the the white and like the flowy mane. Like she just looks so elegant and like very princess. She's a very good princess. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I I think I dig. I think I would go with Princess Celestia for me. I feel and like also they like match our character. Yeah, they kind of do, right? Yeah. 
I think that, yeah, final answer, Princess <laughs> Good choices. <laughs> so this is one for Katrina. How did you make such a strong and confident ca character, Yona, so utterly adorable and cute? Um, this person says, Yona is one of my favourite characters of all time and I fell in love with her instantly. Oh, thank you. Um, honestly, I just, I, I feel like it, I just took a lot of me, you know, like and I have a bit of like fake it till you make it in confidence. Like I'm not a very confident person. I'm quite, I, I get scared of a lot of things, but I like to, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to put it on and, and do it and go for it and pretend and, and it gets easier, but I'm also very like bubbly and, and bright and I trip over everything and anything. And uh, my boyfriend says he can't take me anywhere because I will literally fall over nothing. <laughs> um, I broke my arm this summer falling down my stairs. So uh, I, <laughs> it's fine now. It's out of its cast. Um, you know, so I, I just, she, I just thought she was so cute. Like, you know, she's like really harsh and, but on the inside, she's a big softy. So I kind of, you know, her confident, she is confident, but that's her exterior. And on the inside, she's like the mushiest little marshmallow you'll ever meet, um, which I think I'm maybe kind of like, I, I think. So I just based her off of that, like, you know, fake the confidence until it becomes real. But you're also just a big softy. Oh. <laughs> what are some of your favorite items you've seen during conventions to both of you? Because uh, I think I, our community is amazing, and if it if it can be drawn, oh, it's drawn. Oh so, um, oh my I love my mug. Um, be right back. I also have some twins, and I have this lovely bag. Um, let me go grab it. It's <laughs> And I use this bag. I honestly use this all the time. I use it every day. Um, I use it when I go teach voiceover too, which just seems so fitting. But I have my lovely little bag here. Um, and I will say this, like the artwork and the stuff you guys have created. I've got one that I'm going to get framed is so beautiful. Like some of it is just like takes my breath away. I'm so excited about it. Like I just want all the Ocellus gear. I've got a magnet. I've got a keychain. Like I've got little Ocellus's all over my place and like within my stuff. But I'm also super, super excited. The one thing that I've been wanting since this has started was an Ocellus plushie. Um, I and I have one that's in the mail that's on the way to me. Um, I can't wait to to open her. Like I just can't wait. I have wanted one. Like. And every time, like when I would go to the convention, I'm so happy, like the ones that were there got sold. And it was, it's so cute seeing people share their little Ocellus with me. Cause there's like little ones, big ones. And um, they're so awesome. And I know that the work goes, a lot of work goes into them mm -hmm. being made. Um, and they're like handmade with love, which is so cool to me. You design so everything. One thing that I am have always wanted and I cannot wait for it to get here I, I had a package the other day and I was like maybe that's it <laughs> it wasn't but I'm so excited for when it gets here you guys will see me post photos of it and and take the take who, who made it for me and, and all that stuff I'm so excited I need to splurge on a Yona stuffy I need to it's keep me warm and, and nice and yeah. bright um I do have my my Yona blanket though that this is one of my favorite things that was gifted to me by um beautiful couple named Jesse and Paul they gifted me this blanket and I love it so much I literally use it every day even in the summer I'm like oh my god but the honestly you guys are such incredible artists I can barely draw a stick man I don't know how you guys are able to create these beautiful pieces and like instantly like I've seen people just sketch them out and I'm like that took me two minutes one of my favorite pieces is this um Yona as Moira because I'm a big watch fan and I was telling um someone at a convention and they went and had this commissioned for me um that's amazing it's my little Yona as Moira from Overwatch and it's like one of my favorite pieces but I, honestly I love I I don't know all of the pieces I have are so beautiful I have this board filled out um 
it's in the other room though so everything's so cool and not even just like I mean I love the My Little Pony artwork but artists like you guys do everything like I have um a flask that somebody lasered Bojack Horseman onto that I bought from one of the conventions which I love so much um there's like I have an Ein pillow a court Ein from Cowboy Bebop I bought one of those from the convention circuit awesome. so like I just love I mean I love vendor halls when I went to Comic-Con in 2012 I just spent my entire time there yeah. so I one of my favorite parts about conventions is wandering through the vendor halls and just picking up mm -hmm. everything I don't yeah. I, I love it all that's my favorite part is like I want to go check out the vendor hall yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's cool too because it's just awesome to see like artists you know bring their work and I love supporting fellow artists mm -hmm. like because we are all artists you know yep. in our own way performing acting creating drawing all that stuff so it's it's an end like people making music and all the different things so yeah it's always cool to just see other people's work and appreciate it and and there's always something new and different and so unique so really cool yeah everybody brings their own spin to it you know so it's just yeah it's it's one of the best part of the conventions for me is yeah it, there's just so much you just end up walking and you do one loop and then you think right I've seen it all and then you do a second one you're like how have I missed this this month yeah. yeah. so sadly our hour is nearly up so I'm going to go with one last question which is your character is suddenly made ruler of Equestria whilst Twilight is away how do they handle this Ooh. Oh my gosh, I, Ocellus would take this so seriously and literally like she would be like, ah, okay, everyone needs to learn. Everyone should be in class. Like I feel like she, but I think she would have fun and maybe kind of, you know, I think it would push her to go out of her shell a little bit because she'd have to be like in command. Um, but I think like she'd have everyone like, okay, she'd be all excited we're going to read this chapter and everyone would be like, oh, but she'd be all excited about it. So I feel like it'd st still be like very school-like and, um, you know, focused on, on education and all that good stuff. But I think it would be like super, super fun. And um, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> I think Equestria would be a much better place with a Celis in charge than Yona. <laughs> I think you know, you know she would do her best. Um, she she'd probably feel the pressure and and mess something up. Like you know, she she try so hard that something would go wrong, and then she'd have to fix it. But she would fix it. But I think she'd um she'd be pretty. Well, you know, maybe she'd be overconfident too. She'd be overconfident that it might go well, and then it doesn't. And it's like no. <laughs> um she'd probably make the yak dance the official dance of equestria and you know there's a yak dance break at every lunch but that might be fun <laughs> <laughs> <But> yeah I, <laughs> I think it would definitely definitely be very interesting to see like either a Celeste or Yuna take just because they're so different but then yeah. they're kind of like Celestia and Luna in a way because they yeah. both have different yeah. ways of working yeah. but we slightly hope that Yona gets the uh, daytime compared to the nighttime um <laughs> shift because that could be quite yeah. wild it would be very loud and and destructive I think <laughs> <laughs> whereas the Celeste would be like oh everyone's sleeping now so sleep yeah get all the pillows for everyone <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Pillows, yeah. Pillows, pillows. <laughs> nap time <laughs> well Sadly, that comes to uh, the end of our thing. I've just been tagging something. Um, that comes to the end of our um, Q and A. <laughs> okay, now, now, now we're all. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> that comes all froze frame in that. That's so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I like. It. So that comes to the end. There was loads of. Absolutely loads of questions that I can ask. I've never seen a Q&A this busy before. Like I was looking at one and then it would say like 50 plus new messages. And I'm like, how am I meant to ask you? So I think there was over a hundred questions asked. So unfortunately I couldn't ask, um, ask them all to you. 
but we have another one tomorrow right yes that- so there's a little yeah. bit of a game show bit but <gasps> yeah. which it. is it's going to be about guessing weird british phrases because even though no, we all speak didn't. English like I'm from Yorkshire so I say some really weird things that people in like um because now I've moved to a different part of England I still get look funny looks if I say something they're like uh what are you, what are you saying I'm like oh so you've got a bit of a game show with that and then I think well what I'll do is we'll do that for half an hour and then Q&A for half an hour to try and get some extra questions through but um we still have zoom calls available if um as well if you want to talk on zoom um if you go to our merch store they're all through there or if you just want to buy an autograph that's also there we've got lovely lovely prints um do we have ours oh <laughs> <laughs> um yeah. so i can't um, i would say which artists have drawn those but i aruvi I only know so Lena's done um Katrina's and Vera's done Devon's which are like honestly the, these artists I went oh can you do something with all scrap board with Britannia and then they came out with that yeah. and I was like oh so absolutely cute. incredible so they're so cute I love it, I love it. Yeah. So thank I'm you so much for meeting those thank yeah. you so thank you so much thank you for your time as well today it really does mean a lot and the whole chat is full of hearts and lots of love yeah. and they've really enjoyed it yeah thank you guys thanks for having us we'll yeah. see you in zooms and tomorrow and yay and hopefully <laughs> in person in the future yes i would love will. to come I've been to the UK once and I'd love to come back and meet everybody. I would love to come. Okay. Ocellus and I are so ready. Like I said, right, we're the young- our bags, you know, okay. Yona's going to learn a British accent. Deal. It's really bad. I can't do one. <laughs> right. Let me, I think, I don't know if we're off yet. So I'm just going to wave. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Master-